What's good? Today, I'm going to take you from this inspiration to this photo shoot. We're going to look at the behind the scenes of photo shoot. Then I'm going to give you an editing tutorial where I show you how I make this composite into the final product. Stay tuned. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. Or take a couple steps back and then, you know, the classical lean forward thing that you girls like on Insta. The, so yeah, the lean forward and the, and kind of like looking out. Okay. Second. Okay. One, two, three. Eyes, eyes. More curiosity, less uh, <laughs> side eye. You know what I mean? The other way, the other way, the other way, the other way. Perfect. Let's go light, nice and light. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eyes here. Bring your, bring your phone closer to you a little bit. Perfect. You're good. All right. Now let's again. Now, like duck lips, silly faces, just, you know. All right. Yeah, exactly. Put your hand a little bit in that. Perfect. Look at those. Don't do anything back. Like the like looking over your shoulder kind of thing. No, I'm kind of back. Move the sweater a little bit. Perfect. One, two, three. Watch. Perfect. Like it, shut up a little bit more. Yeah. Perfect. Good job. Eyes, the smile. Perfect. That's. Yeah, I did. I see you coming. You know what? You're, you're right. Do it the other way. Do it the other way. Yeah. Perfect. Bring phone closer. One, two, three. Okay, let's get out of the box. Oh wait. No, don't have sweet oh. Okay. Love that. Sitting hot. Alright, so now that we've done the photo shoot, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get the final look by doing a bit of compositing work in Photoshop. So Let's turn to my computer. So the first things first is you're going to open a web page. You're going to type paper box product PSD. So we're looking for free pack over here. So what I'm going to do is look for a packaging that sort of matches a Barbie box. So you want something that's tall enough for Barbie, slender, uh, just to, you know, create the vibes of a real Barbie box packaging. So I believe this is the one that I selected. And then I went ahead and clicked download uh, into my computer. I'm going to skip that step uh, because I've already downloaded the package. So this is the zip file that I received on the desktop. We're going to open it up. Perfect. So now we've got a PSD here, as well as this is going to be the image that we'll be working on today. All right, so then we're going to get into the folder. We've got the packaging right here. We've got a JPEG and a PSD. 
the PSD is what we're going to be working for. That's a Photoshop file, as well as this is the JPEG image that I am going to be compositing into the package. So let's start off with the package prepping it up for our composite. So let's go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. All right, so in the Photoshop file, you're going to find different folders here uh, representing this uh, different layers. So you've got effects, which is all the shading and whatnot, so that the composite can look realistic when you overlay it onto the box. And then you've got the different parts of the box here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the different areas of the box and create, you know, the different aspects of what I want. So let's start off with the top of the box. When we go in here, this is what it looks like. None of this is of any interest to me because I'm going to be making it look like a Barbie box. And so once again, this is going to be completely deleted. So the different ways in which you can essentially create the look that you want. So one way is to use the fill tool or you could use the paintbrush. I find the uh, bucket tool over here to be the fastest way, the paint bucket tool to be the fastest way. So once I've changed the top, I'm going to save that. And when I close that layer, you should see that it reflects on the top. So we'll do the same thing for the other sides of the box. So this is going to be the front of the box. This one does not really matter because essentially what we're going to be doing with it in the end is overlaying an image on top of it. And so again, what you do here doesn't really matter that much, but one thing I'm going to do is take out the text in here. And so all we're left with is the design here. And so I can take all of this, delete that layer, control D to deselect. And then I'm going to take the bucket again, throw it in there and uh, do this layer as well. Uh, simply put, I will just take a nice paintbrush, increase its size and complete that side there. Just a quick and easy paint. We're going to save this. Once again, it'll be reflected on the front of the box. And then on the side of the box, we are going to essentially do the same thing as well. So once again, we're taking out the text that exists over there. And because I have the bait brush already open, I'm just going to paint over it and overlay that and save. So that is the first aspect. Now the second thing that we want to do is get a image of the Barbie logo to really sell the Barbie concept that we're going with. So we're going to type Barbie, Barbie logo into images. So what I'm looking for is something that stands out, that kind of matches the colors of what I'm going for, and something that can be easily placed into a um, Photoshop file. So what I'm looking for, Barbie logo transparent background. Let's see here. So we've got different ones over here. This kind of matches what uh, we have on the original box. But let's see. You know what? I like this one, so this is the one I'm going to go with. So we're going to click on that. And we are going to download. Hello PNG. Awesome. So now that we have that done, we're going to take that image, we're going to go back to the side of the box layer, and we're going to bring it in over here. Now the benefit of us getting one with a transparent background is we don't have to do the work of cutting around it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just turn it around and then increase the size Let's see here. Perfect. And there we go. Let's straighten that a little bit more. As you guys know, my eyesight's a little off. So as you guys know, my eyesight's a little off. So don't mind if it is not the straightest. 
Perfect. Okay, so once again, we're going to save that. And there we go. We've got the Barbie logo on the side of the box. So what you want to do now is maybe go back to the top of the box. And I might want to make this just a shade darker. Just to differentiate the different sides a little bit more. So let's go take that in. Save that. Close this down. And the top of the box is just a little bit of a different shade. It just gives you the ability to differentiate the, the sides a little bit. Alright, so now that we've taken care of all the different aspects of the box, let's go and play with the background a little bit. So, one thing that I want to do is change the color of the background. Uh, the white is okay, but it doesn't really make it stand out that much. So, I'm going to take a sample of that color here, but make it a bit of a shade lighter, just to differentiate it a little bit more. Close in, and that looks perfect. And as you can see, the benefit of us downloading this whole package from uh, that website is we don't have to go in and build the different uh, aspects of the box. This is already pre-done for us, and so it speeds up our workflow significantly. All right, so with that said, now that we've gotten the base work done, let us go ahead and now add our image to the front of the packaging. So for this, what we're going to do is go back to the front of the box. You could double click there. And we're going to go back to the folder where I had my JPEG and we're going to throw that in. So what we've got here is two issues. Number one, we can see parts of my office as well as the fact that the image is not very level. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to rotate it a little bit to make it a little bit leveled. And we can get rid of the sides in many ways. You could do a subject select or you can cut out different pieces on your own. I'm looking to work really fast. So what I'm going to do is just stretch the image until it fits the dimensions of the template that we have below. So bear with me as I do this better shoddy work. So we can stretch here. And we'll stretch there. All right. And we will stretch there. All right, so now that we've done stretching it out, you can notice that still tiny parts of the office are showing. So there's different things that you can do. You could try a content or a fill. You could take a paint brush and brush it in, or you could take a rectangular tool like I have over here. We're going to do Control T for transform, and then we will try and stretch it out to fill the remainder of it. Perfect. That worked somewhat. And let's do that on this side as well. Careful not to grab the Barbie logo. And we want to stretch that out as well. And control D for deselecting. And that is perfect. Now you can see a little bit of a line here and a little bit of a line here. But two things. Uh, first things first is that uh, it's not really going to show when we overlay it on our box because of the effects that are already on this template. But the second thing is when I get into doing a little bit of the skin work, I will use a mixer brush tool to kind of refine that. The last part I'm going to do here is take a paintbrush, just reduce its size a little bit. I'm going to ensure that the color matches down here. And then I'm just going to fill in that little bit of a section there. Uh, let's make it even smaller. And then right there. All right. So with that said, we can now take a quick gander, make sure that we're satisfied with all the slides, and do control save. Once we do that and we jump back to our box, would you look at that? As you can see, it has been overlaid. And like I said before, you can't even notice the different lines because of the effects that are in there. So, at this point, you could say that the product is complete. You could do 
and export and there's your image but I'm not quite satisfied I like my pictures to have a lot of contrast and uh, vibrance and so I'm gonna do a little bit of retouching as well as to add some color to this image so let's continue with the um, edit and so at this point I'm gonna create a new layer by going to this top layer our wall the layers that are below and then we're going to go into a bit of frequency separation now this step is really not needed because of how far back the subject is in the picture you can't really see any blemishes on the skin if you go in any bit deeper you'll see that you can't really tell that they're blemishes however with that said i am not quite satisfied because i really want to sell the look so i am going to go uh, with frequency separation just to make the skin look a little bit plastic normally you wouldn't go this far but because we're trying to sell this barbie look we're just going to go and do some frequency separation in addition i would normally use a tablet to really uh create that uh really texturized but smooth skin but in this case because we are going for that plastic look i'm going to use a mouse which will apply basically a lot of the effect of the Gaussian blur on the skin. So selecting the lower layer, which is the color layer, we're just going to paint on the skin to really blend the colors and to sell that plastic look. That's what frequency separation does. One layer is colors, and so we're blending the colors, and then the other color, uh, the other layer is going to be texture, but we're not going to touch that today. So as you can see, as I paint, it's just merging all the nearby colors. We're using the mixer brush tool. We don't have the highest amount of flow or wetness on this brush. We just want to subtly place this effect like so. And once again, this is not how I would normally retouch skin, but because we are going for a bit of a plastic look, this is appropriate in this case. So we're just going to zoom out a little bit, take a quick look for an after, for an after, and now we've got that plastic looking skin. So what we're going to do is just merge these two layers now that we're done with that part. And so I am going to go in here. I can see the inside of the box and I can see one of the screws that was used to uh, put this box together. So what I want to do is just take the patch tool and we're going to patch it out. So we're just going to do a little bit of that and that is gone. Perfect. So the last thing I want to do is to go and uh, do a little bit of a boost in colors. So what I'm going to do here is maybe turn up the exposure just a little bit. We're going to add a lot of contrast to really define things. We're going to be haste to get a little bit of that effect off our image. The effect of the highlights and the, the light beating down on the box. We're going to add a tiny bit of clarity. We're going to throw in some vibrates and then a little bit of saturation, not too much. You don't want to overdo it, right? All right, and so that's looking good. Maybe turn down the blacks a little bit, turn up the whites a little bit, and there we go. So before and after, before and after. Awesome. So at this point, I'm quite satisfied with the image. All we are left to do is to go and export it. We will do it as a save for web and we're going to save it on the desktop awesome we will now go and open our finished image and there you have it so we have got the barbie box and as you can see in a few simple steps by downloading a template we can create this composite which is very compelling. When I gave this to the client for their birthday, they were extremely happy. Thank you for following this tutorial and watching this video. If you appreciate the work that I do here, 
please consider subscribing, give a thumbs up, and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. With that said, have a wonderful rest of your day.